This is Randy Wicker at Gay Expo, and I've run into a fabulous gay star uh, who's seen on Logo and elsewhere, Adam Joseph, who has a very interesting, probably politically incorrect video called Faggoty Attention. That's right. to stir it up, I guess. Uh, what kind of reaction have you gotten? How, what varied reaction? I've gotten uh, a very mixed reaction from people. A lot of... Uh, I'll tell you, I loved it. I, I, I captured it on, on... I had to go on... Just the thing that I'm giving I couldn't download on my Apple from from uh, Logo. Uh, yeah, well, I'm actually coming out with a maxi single uh, in the next month, and it's going to have the music video on on the CD. So, what's coming out? It's coming out uh, in the middle of November. And what is it? You said a maxi a Faggoty Attention maxi single. It includes six remixes of Faggoty Attention, and uh, I saw the one in the nightclub. Uh, and and the, there's one in the nightclub, and there was another where you're in the limousine. Right. Do you think that limousine was just a little bit big? Uh, that was the point, you know. The bigger, the better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you sort of gave that impression. I loved it when you said, uh, hold me, tell me some of the lyrics that are so racist. One. You can get rough. Boy, I ain't no girl. I can take it like a man. And all your questions. Hope you're ready, because you ain't never had it this tight. <laughs> right, that was one. Um, There's no thing about Boy, I ain't no girl. I can take it like a man. Oh, well, that was another politically incorrect one. And there was something like, hold me in, and I don't know. Oh, uh, don't pull me too close, or I'll pull you in. Oh, oh wow. And is this all, are these lyrics that you wrote, right? You're a songwriter. Uh, yes, I did write the, whole, the song myself. Because actually, yeah, I, I, was, I was very surprised. I looked up, I researched you, because I don't like most gay music, and I loved your video. And you're really a, a I think you were saying Christmas hymns or something. There was some music. I said, I said, this boy is a trained professional singer. No. I am. Tell me quickly uh, what, what you uh, are. I've been singing ever since I was a little kid. I went to Berklee College of Music and studied uh, vocal performance there and music production engineering. And uh, You're not just a pretty boy that cut a, a popular song. I studied music for about, uh, I've studied music for about eight years. Um, Did you write the song, Faggoty Attention? Yes, I write all my own songs. You can hold me down, I'll let you in. Don't pull me too close or I'll pull you in. Yeah, and, and I produced it as well. And what kind of negative reactions? I mean, what kind of hostile? I've, I've definitely gotten a lot of mixed reaction. Um, some people tell me, uh, you know, you've set back the gay community 20 years by releasing this song. Well, that's fine with me since I'm 70 years old. I'd love to be 50 again. You know? um, and, you know, people just 
some people find the word faggot or faggoty really offensive, but... You know, it's funny, I don't want to, but I personally very much just like queer, because that was a hurtful term when I was a kid. And now, I, some people say, oh, I'd punch someone who called me a faggot. The guy that said that in one of the groups I'm in, I, he came up to me on a street corner, and I turned to my friend, I said, who's this faggot? Yeah. He didn't punch me, he was just saying hello. Well, the way I look at it is like, you know, like uh, the whole hip-hop community is taking the word like nigger back from the white people calling them that in back in the day and now they're like kind of made it as a, a word to be proud of and a word that they can kind of take the power out of from people using it as an insult so now it's not really so much of an insult as just I, I would rather be called a faggot and you can call me a faggot any day I am a faggot I really do not like the term queer I'm dating myself because I'm from the older generation you know it's like gay faggot queer it's like as long as you are proud of being what you are, then it's really it takes the takes the power out of it. And I think that's what's really great about it. Uh, takes the uh, taboo out of um, the word because I think that everyone, you know, people should be. I'm proud to call myself a faggot. You know, I'm gay and I'm not ashamed of it. So I, I agree with you completely. I think this political correctness is just terrible, and I want to. I want to thank you for this fabulous interview. I can put it on YouTube or whatever. Yeah, thank you. I look forward to doing that, and thank you. Good luck in your career. You're really a talented, beautiful young man. I just wish I was young enough to hit on you and have a chance. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you so much. Give me, give me one of Don't pull me too close or I'll pull you in. I can tell you like attention. That's just a thing. Like attention, that's just the thing that I